won't you sit down, Mrs... Uh... Uh, Douglas, Oliver Vander Douglas, but everybody calls me Lisa. Uh, do you have a son or daughter in our school? No. Then how can I help you? My husband wants me to take a course in domestic sinus. Sinus. Science. Well, whatever it is, as long as it's cooking. Where do I go? Well, you have to enroll first. Well, how do you do that? Just fill out one of these applications, your address, name, age. Age? Do you have one with different questions? <laughs> well, you can just put down 21 plus. I was going to put down minus. <laughs> Why don't you just answer the questions as close as you can, and we'll see if we can get you started. You've always heard that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Yes. Uh, there are other ways. <laughs> Mrs. Douglas. <laughs> Such as telling him that everything you buy is on sale. Never using his razor. And if he pulls off his polo pony, you mustn't laugh. <laughs> because if you laugh, it doesn't matter what good a cook you are. Thank you, Mrs. Douglas. <laughs> I'm sure the girls will remember that. You're welcome, Mrs. Hockmeister. <laughs> Now then, uh, can I say just one more thing? What? The most important thing is to marry a man who loves you. Because if he loves you, you can get away with murder. Now, I don't know how to cook, but Mr. Douglas loves me. And I have more diamonds than any of my friends who are better cooks than I am. Also emeralds. <laughs> Girls, will you please open your books to page seven? There are a few other things about marriage that they don't write about in cookbooks. Mrs. Douglas. Oh, yeah. There's a second bell. Hey, what's your first class? Chemistry. Now, today we are going to examine the Austro-Hungarian monarchy. I can help you with that, because I come from Hungary. Most people don't know that, because I don't speak with an accident anymore. Mrs. Douglas, do you mind? The Austro-Hungarian monarchy was ruled by the House of Habsburg. The house... It wasn't really a house. It was a big castle on top of the hill. <laughs> the Habsburg house refers to the Habsburg line. And it was a pretty good line, too. <laughs> My grandmother went out with one of them. And of all the fellows she ever went out with, he was the only one she ever had to pull the hat pin on. <laughs> yes. Well... She stuck him in the carriage. <laughs> oh, uh, not his carriage, the horse's carriage. <laughs> All right, fasten your seatbelt. Now, uh, do you know how to start a car? No. Well, do you know what this is? Well, it looks like a key, but I bet it's a trick question. <laughs> it's a key. And it goes in right here. And all you have to do to start the motor is to turn the key. Oh, not yet. First of all, you know what these are? P-R-N-D-L. Oh, yes, that's a pernundle. My husband has a pernundle on his car, too. Yes. Every car should have a pernundle. Now, the motor won't start unless the indicator is a P, which stands for park, or N, which means neutral. Can I use either? Yes, of course. P or N. You know, that's why I never learned how to drive. You have to make so many decisions. Well, let's try N. I like P better. All right. Uh, you can turn the key now. Let go! Who won the motor stop? No! Look, when the motor starts, you release the key. You didn't tell me that. Look, we'll try backing up. Now, where would you put the arrow to do that? That's another one that's going to be hard to do. There is no B on here. Well, let's try R for reverse. What direction is that? Just a second. <laughs> now, we're going to have to back up to get out of here so we won't run into the girls' shower room. So put the arrow next to R. Then look back to see that everything's clear. Now, slowly step on the gas. What a good-looking outfit you're wearing. Is it new? Lisa, uh, I think, I think we'd better have to have a little talk. Oh, you heard about the car in the shower room? Yes. 
You can't keep a thing like that a secret. No. Lisa, I just had a talk with the principal, and you've been expelled. And I've only been here three days. Isn't that wonderful? Expelled means kicked out. Oh. It's not wonderful. No. Well, I didn't fit in here too well anyway. A lot of the kids are younger than I am. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a moment. I have to clear out my locker. I left my pom-poms in there. Oh, well, your pom-poms? It was going to be a surprise, but they made me the cheerleader of the football team. <laughs> this way. With an H, with an H, with an O, O, O. With a T, with a T, with an E, R, V. Who just wears? Who just wears? That's for me! <laughs> This has been a film waste presentation, darling. <laughs>